All right, new developments tonight in the investigation into a kidnapping and carjacking in Shelby Township earlier this week. It led to this chase with police, which ended in a crash. Police saying this man is now officially charged and is facing a lengthy prison sentence if he's convicted. Pamela Osborne tracking this story for us, and Pam, charges include torture. Kimberly, they do, and this is just one of the many disturbing details of this incident. The other thing puzzling investigators right now is how was the man who was arraigned today? He's from Florida. He's not even from Michigan. So how and why did he involved end up in this crime? I should say here in Macomb County. Kidnapping. Where do you hear this? And on top of it, torture. I mean, these charges carry with it up to life in prison. Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lucido has plenty of questions for Angel Antonio Andujar Ruiz. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! This is him as officers took him into custody following a chase Monday. Today, the Tampa, Florida resident was arraigned on a dozen charges relating to the kidnapping of a 24-year-old Macomb County man taken at gunpoint as he left the Shelby Township Lifetime Fitness Monday. From, you know, the, in, the in, incident itself, there was torture, and it, it is unspeakable. Investigators say there were four kidnappers. Three of them got away. While Andrew Jar Ruiz was caught in the victim's pickup truck, the victim found tied up in the back. Andrew Jar Ruiz is in jail, charged with armed robbery, carjacking, conspiracy, and torture, as well as several other counts relating to the kidnapping and home invasion. And he is being held in jail without a bond for two reasons, the seriousness of these charges, as well as the fact that, as we said, he is not a Michigan resident. Now, police are still trying to identify and locate the three other people involved in this incident. Still a lot of work to figure out exactly how all of these pieces fit together. They say this was not a random incident at all. Anyone with information should give police a call. Reporting live tonight in Macomb County, I'm Pamela Osborne, Local 4. Okay, Pamela, thank you.